Hey guys, welcome to Afro 10. Today we'll be talking about the footballers who had it all in life and in a blink of an eye, their living conditions changed. Number 10, Rashidi Yekini. Rashidi Yekini was a Nigerian professional footballer who played as a forward. He is the all-time top goal scorer for the Nigerian national team with 37 goals. His professional career was mainly associated with Vitoria de Setuba in Portugal. He has also played in six other countries beside his own. Yekini represented the nation in seven major tournament where he scored the country's first ever goal in the competition. He was also named the African Footballer of the Year in 1993. He suffered from polar disorder, depression and other psychiatric conditions which took his life on May 4th, 2012. Number 9, Shikelu Ilwe Yossi. He is a super egos fringe player who achieved little in the senior national team. He nevertheless made a lucrative career playing football. In 1999, he was a member of the national under 20 team that competed in the World Youth Championship in Nigeria. He also won four cars for the Super Eagles. He is best known for his marriage to Nollywood actress Stefano Kereke which was annulled by a Lagos court after it was revealed that he was allegedly married to another woman in the United States at the time he proposed to Stephanie. Despite playing for clubs in Turkey, Libya, Australia and Saudi Arabia, he is currently struggling financially. According to sources, the defender dabbled into fashion design with a particular interest in men's clothing. He has also been seen on several occasions providing moral support to his sports project spearheaded by billionaire club owner Ifain Uba. Number 8. Victor Agali. Agali has played for Nigeria on a number of occasions including the 2000 Summer Olympics. Victor Agali is a former Nigerian professional footballer who played as a forward for clubs such as Marcel, Shakhtar 04, OGC Nice amongst others. Agali had a lot of success in Germany top flight scoring 32 goals in total during his time there. In the year 2000, the former attacker was called up to the Nigerian national team. He appeared in 12 games for the Super Eagles, scoring 5 goals. Agali announced his retirement from football in 2010. Victor Agali entered the world of football academics after retiring. He currently runs the Victor Agali Football Academy in Badagri. Victor is currently a coach with the Delta Force NNL team. Under coach Jonas Rowe, he was also named Super Eagles Scout. His job necessitates frequent travel from training camps to academies. Number 7. Yusuf Muhammad. Ahmed. The former Aimba Super Eagles defender made the list after it was alleged that he is now a beggar in Kanu after he was abandoned by the authorities. He was one of the most sought after Nigerian defenders at his prime as he went on to make stings in Europe and Asia. He was born on the 5th of November 1983. As a defender, Mohamed won the African Champions League with Aimba in 2003 and 2004 before moving to Sudanese club Al Hilal. In January 2009, he completed a move to Swiss side FC Sion from Al Hilal. Mohamed underwent a medical and agreed on a three and a half year deal in time to beat the transfer deadline. Following in the footsteps of compatriot Obina Nwan Neri, who also joined Sion in 2007 after breaking into the Super Ego squad. He returned to Al Hilal in May 2010. He is currently rehabbing from an injury suffered at the 2010 African Cup of Nations that led him being excluded from the 2010 FIFA World Cup team. Number 6. Celestine Babayaro. Celestine Babayaro Bayaro was a Nigerian former professional footballer who played as a left back or a midfielder. He was born on the 29th of August 1978. Babayaro spent the majority of his career playing in the Premier League from 1997 to 2005 and then later for Newcastle United from 2005 to 2008. He had a brief sting at the MLS club LA Galazi but never officially played for the club. He retired as a free agent in 2010. Babayaro represented the Nigerian national football team from 1995 to 2004 and he was part of two Olympic squad, two World Cup squads and three African Cup of Nations side. Babayaro set record as the youngest player to make an appearance and to receive a red card in the UEFA Champions League. He was sent off in a match against Stio Bukaristi at the age of 16. Babayaro declared himself bankrupt after he was charged to court by creditors in Creldon. He was reported to have enjoyed a lavish and luxurious lifestyle both at home and abroad. Number 5. Wilson Oruma Wilson Oruma was a Nigerian former footballer who was a midfielder for the Super Eagles for 6 years. He spent most of his career in France. He was born on the 30th December 1976. After representing Nigeria at the 1998 FIFA World Cup, he moved to Turkish side Samsung Sport, returning to France one year later to play for Nimes. Oruma went on to have an illustrious career having moved to clubs like Civet, 
Marcel and ended his career in Greek club A.O. Kavala. He was reported to have had a mental disorder after being defrauded a sum of 1.2 billion naira by a fraudster who posed as a pastor. Wisi played for some clubs and was at a point in time declared one of the richest Nigerian players. He was also known to have played alongside JJ Okosha. Wisi is currently recovering for his mental health, however, he is still struggling with the reality of being poor. Number 4. A team a scene. A team a scene, John, is a retired Nigerian international footballer. He's one of the most gifted players in Nigerian's football history. He was born on the 5th of October 1966. Esim played for Iwonyawu National, Flash Flamingos and Calabar Rovers before moving to Belgium. He was nicknamed Maradona by legendary Nigerian radio commentator Ernest Okonkwo. He has represented the national team at the 1987 FIFA World Youth Championship and his 6 FIFA World Cup qualification matches. He was left out of the team that represented Nigeria. Nigeria at the 1994 World Cup due to the fact that there was a report that he was banned by FIFA for allegedly raping a minor during his playing days with Lisi FC. A claim that was later proven to be false 25 years later. A team a seen was one of the financially buoyant players during his time. While he was in the prime of his football career, he was noted to have driven customized cars which were built to his specifications accompanied with other lavish lifestyles. However, when he went bankrupt, one of his cars was seized because of debt that he couldn't offset. Along the line, he was allegedly seen moving from one room to another after Super Ego's marshes to request for financial aid. Number 3. Femi Opabumi Femi was also another Super Ego's player who was quite notable in the Nigerian football history as he was the base player of most Nigerian international games. He was born on the 3rd of March 1985. He played for a few clubs including Shooting Stars FC, Grasshopper Zurich, Hapoel Bier Shiva and Chameos, no it has in France. He retired from football in 2006 due to serious glaucoma. He is now totally blind in the right eye. In an interview with Complete Sport Nigeria, the winger said he suddenly lost his sight during training with French second division side Newt in 2006. He was reportedly duped after he searched for healing from Nigerian pastors who had promised to help him regain his sight. But they all turned out to be false men of God who duped him all the way. He has retired as a professional football player and now resides in Ibadan with his family. He is now the head coach of a football academy in Iwo Oshun State. Alamo Football Academy, the first free football academy which is set to participate in the Nigerian Premier League. Number 2. Ifain Udeze Ifain Udeze was a footballer who played for Super Eagles between the year 2000 and 2004. He was the Super Eagles left back. He was born on the 21st of July 1980. It is quite unfortunate to know that Ifain is currently in deep financial debt according to close sources. Apparently, he has squandered all he had acquired while his fame lasted. He was recalled to have indulged himself in gambling activities while living a luxurious lifestyle in Europe. Udeze played for clubs such as Bender Insurance FC, A.O. Cavalas, and Paok Thessaloniki before joining West Brom Albion in 2003. In his first season with Albion, he played in the Premier League, joining the club on loan in the later stage of the season after which Albion were relegated. In July 2007, he returned to Paok FC signing a two-year deal, a niggly injury prevented him from grabbing a first-team spot and he was released after a year at the club. He now works with Riala FM, one of the biggest sports radio in Nigeria as a sports analyst. Number 1. Taribo West Taribo West is a Nigerian pastor and former professional footballer who played as a defender. He is best remembered for his various unusual and colorful hairstyles. After winning several major trophies with Auza in French football, West went on to play for both Inter Milan and AC Milan. He also appeared in the top level leagues of England and Germany. At the international level, West won 42 caps for Nigeria between 1994 and 2005, taking part in two World Cups and two African Championships. He also represented his country at the 1996 Olympics, winning a gold medal. After making so much money during his playing days, he failed to save as he's now living by the benevolence of people and he is now a pastor. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly like and subscribe and click on the end screen by your left to watch the top 10 richest footballers in Nigeria 2023.